Hello? Hey, kid. A mutual friend needs our help. Logan? But how did you get... I have my ways. Look, you want to help or not? <sighs> Depends on the friend. Aurora Monroe. Oh, of course. I'm free now. Good. You know where to find us. <laughs> where the trouble is. Eliana, thank you for coming. Aurora, you can always count on me. A friendship for all seasons is a powerful thing. Thank the goddess for that. We miss you at the school. You are always welcome home. I found my home with the Midnight Suns. But that does not mean I leave friends behind. What is the problem? A year ago, the professor detected a mutant living here with dormant abilities. I met with her. A fierce young woman named Dahlia, and invited her to attend Xavier's school. She declined. The orphanage was all she knew. I came here today to see if she had changed her mind, but... According to the orphanage, she... disappeared three months ago. Let me guess. As soon as her powers manifested... It's my fault. I didn't want to push her. To take her away from the only place she felt safe. I thought she could hide in plain sight a bit longer. I was wrong. You did what you thought was right. As you always do. Dahlia would never harm another person. And now she slipped through the cracks. Another ghost in the wind. This city is not kind to its ghosts. Especially not when it's infested with vampires. That's why we're gonna find her before they do. They already found us. Protect the children, at any cost. As if preying on the innocent wasn't enough for them, they come for the most vulnerable. We could call them cowards, but they are just mindless scavengers looking for an easy meal. I've got something they can chew on right here. Ah, Logan. Together again. Just like old times. The forces of nature conspire! How long have you been waiting to do that?
did. That must have taken practice. Maybe it's time you quit this racket. Are you prepared? Nice move, bub. Should have been more vigilant. Dahlia was on her own here, alone with her burgeoning abilities. There was only so much you could do. Think how many mutants have faced the same difficulties. The requirement of our upbringing to face such undeserved trials. It falls to us to ensure that doesn't happen. Not here, not anywhere. Whatever works for you. Whatever gets the job done. Not looking good for you. Just a gatekeeper. Now I see why. Maybe you'd like a closer look at my sword. It ain't even satisfying tearing these things apart. I can't tell if they even care. They may not care. But whoever lords over these pitiful creatures will miss them. They are probably making more as quickly as You're just a ray of sunshine today, kid. I am always a ray of sunshine. Reflected into your eyes. <laughs> That's the magic I know. You ain't good enough for me. At least we got here in time to protect the children. Protecting society's dregs, hmm? It is beneath your stature. Beneath me, all I see is you. The new breed vampires are an evolution, just as mutants were before them. But vampires continue to grow. Mutants remain tethered to humanity, 
A broken branch on the evolutionary tree. These cast-offs are not your family. They are fuel. There is a food chain. And it is time we ate up. Surely you see it. Just as mutants push humanity ever closer to the ash heap, so too will this new breed. It is the natural order of this world. There is nothing natural about what you've done. Any mutant seeking to dominate humanity does not speak for us. Ah, oh, that is your mistake, not mine. Nothing compared to the things I have seen and killed. I'm right here. Hope you're ready. Good work. Still want a piece. to see you're representing the X-Men properly. Evolved, you would see how your actions against those who cannot defend themselves are misguided. Oh, does humanity shed a tear for their countless meals? Do they care about their meat? One does not justify the other. Your mind is twisted. <laughs> or maybe I am seeing things more clearly than ever. yourself blindly for Lilith? You're more foolish than you look. A change of mind?
Deliver you from her grasp. Numbers will not save you. We will not allow you to spread this plague across the world. My kind have little to fear from you. We are the future. If they're not scared yet, they better get started. Now for something real special.
reinforcements inbound. As mutants, you should understand the struggle my kind has faced better than anyone. You chose to align yourself with these creatures. Our paths are nothing else. I chose to move beyond the limitations of humanity, and I have no regrets! gets the job done. No time to waste. Prevail for now. was a quarter of my power. I'm glad the training stayed with you. The danger room left an impression. As you did, with Sin. She won't be back. It's why she was here in the first place that concerns me. Agreed. This is bigger than us. If we're going to take on Sin... And find Dahlia. We need reinforcements. Most of the X-Men are off-planet dealing with the Shi'ar Brood War. Don't worry. The Midnight Suns will help. Storm, is it? Indeed. You must be the hunter. Magic told me about you. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> Nothing but good things, I promise. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. I must say, this place is unlike anything I've seen before. There is an air of mystery and wonder, but it feels welcoming and safe all at the same time. How curious. The Abbey is special. It even holds secrets that I have not uncovered. Sounds unique indeed. I can already see the similarities between here and Xavier's school. Speaking of, what do you think is the most interesting part of the Abbey? Those who reside here make each day interesting and fresh. Yes. The people are the lifeblood of a community. I can say the same for Xavier's school as well. The students are all colorful characters. There is never a dull moment in these halls. <laughs> if there was ever silence, I would grow worried. 
Apologies. I have been dominating the conversation. Have you any questions for me? Yes, I have a few. By all means, ask away. Can you tell me about your background? I won't go into too much detail, but I was left orphaned as a child. I learned how to fend for myself and became a skilled pickpocket. You stole from others? To survive, and it worked. I scraped by. After a few years, my mutant abilities presented themselves, and I was approached by Xavier to join the X-Men. The rest is history. I feel like you are leaving some parts out. <laughs> Perhaps. My past is just that. It is behind me, and I prefer to focus on what is ahead. I saw bright lights coming from your hands. What was that? It's a little complicated, but I have the power to control the weather and atmosphere. What you saw back there was electricity. Wow, that is amazing. Uh, now I understand the meaning behind your name. Thunder and lightning don't roll off the tongue as easily. You said your powers are complicated. May I ask how? Maybe I'll go into full detail another time. But let's just say I can't mess with Mother Nature too much. I see. Like checks and balances? Exactly. What is your given name? Aurora Munro. What about yours? The Hunter. Short and sweet. I like it. Does your name hold any significance like mine does? I was told it meant beauty. A little embarrassing, but I understand the intent. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. Magic respects Storm. That says a lot about her character. Hello, Hunter. I hope you are well. I was hoping to ask you some questions. By all means, ask away. I changed my mind. The offer still stands. Your powers are impressive. If you struck me with lightning, I would say thank you. What brought this on? <laughs> Either way, I appreciate the sentiment. I'm a big believer in self-expression.
Real shocking turn of events, eh, Hunter? So, what do you think of Storm? I am eager to work alongside her. Mm, she has that effect on people. Even on you? She was my mentor. Of course I respected her. But it had to be earned first. Some leaders blather on to... avoid making tough decisions. But not Storm. She did not go into much detail about the extent of her powers, but they sound impressive. Impressive? <laughs> she is 100% grade A badass. 100 badasses. Got it. Ah, oh, you are hopeless. Anything else on your mind? Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. You are going to love this. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony. How may I assist you today? These should definitely give you an edge. Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close. I just hope you brought me something interesting. Ah, yes, I remember this one. Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working.
Yo, it's good to see you. I've hunted with a lot of different folks in my day. But there's one question I ask the special cases. And I suppose I am one of those special cases? Indeed you are. But a little more what that means later. By all means, ask your question. What do you do after we beat Lilith and stop the prophecy of the Midnight Sun? I think you are the first person to ask me this. I figured that might be the case. Caretaker and Agatha sure did focus you into one hell of a weapon. If I am needed, others are in need. Noble thought there, Hunter. But you gotta have dreams. I would argue that dreams are a distraction. That's exactly the point, Hunter. Special cases are when I get the impression there's nothing beyond the immediate goal. The immediate goal matters most. Tell that to Eric Brooks in the Daywalker Trio. Mm. When humanity safe from evil, whenever that happens, I retire to New Orleans and play jazz trumpet, happier and livelier than this city in summertime. I'm more than a vampire hunter, and the other heroes who understand that there's a dream beyond the mission have a better grasp on life. And I got another life I'm looking forward to living. Slay evil, enjoy life. Right on. It's living that makes the fight worth fighting. Reflect on that, Hunter. Indeed. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Stay out of trouble. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with that. Time's wasting, Hunter. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. See you around. Hmm. Apologies for the delays. Steve and I are holding down the fort here, alone, and given my condition, I'm just not myself. 
Yeah, because that's a new problem for you. Shut up, Tony. You're more than just the Hulk, Bruce. You're one of the most brilliant scientific minds on this planet. Indeed. And it's time for you to share some of that brilliance with us, Dr. Banner. When can we expect to see your findings? Keep telling you. Gremlins. Losing power. On arc reactors one and three. Facing complete defensive grid failure. Impossible. Even for her. Okay. Improbable. Incoming hydro gunships. We're being completely overrun. Missiles targeting us. No, 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 no. Stay calm, Bruce. I am calm. I am always calm. Keep working the comms. I may be able to restore the system if I can get close enough to the tower. What do you say, Junior? Think you could back me up out there in case Mommy Darkest arrives? Anytime. just outside the battle zone. A little extra caution. Better safe than sorry. Do not make it too far. I do not want to miss out on the fighting. Radioactive pigeons. It's a New York thing. Uh oh. Yeah, I'd maybe add a couple more O's onto that. I thought the doctor said your defenses were down. They are. Didn't say anything about our defenders, though. Joe. Steve. on those Hydra soldiers, that'd be great. I'll work on getting the defenses back online, but you're on your own until then. I could probably do that a little faster. I did design the system. We don't have time for your ego right now, Tony. Just an observation.
signature move. You had your chance to escape. Sneak up on us now. Did you even have any? I'm not sure I'd brag about these designs if I were you, Tony. Oh, well, let me know when Banner Industries releases your model, and I'll be sure to take a look. Change of plan.
gen tech to me. We've got incoming. I've got your back. Closer. Power distribution is coming back online. Should be able to reactivate the... Wait, what? Why are those even connected? But, but, we don't have time for your ego, Tony.
are online. Internal sensors are recalibrating. We're almost there. Just hold out a little bit longer. Understood. The devil is in the details. I find the devil is everywhere these days. I am going to enjoy getting to know you. for Hydra. for the rest of us. Cowardice remains unchanged. Much like their commitment to just plain sucking. Huh. Maybe we will survive this battle unscathed. Never, ever say that. That's pretty much Hero 101. One, two, three, four. Transmitting now. <sighs> Got it. Love it when a plan comes together. 
We get it, Rumbo. Let's do this. Here we go. I see the target. It's gonna take more than that. That's your legendary savior? You're supposed to be Lilith's kid, right? Must be the runt of the litter. Come closer, mercenary, and I will show you just how hard this runt can bite. Suckers! <laughs> 
I'm here to get paid. If you can see me coming, it's already too late. You're gonna hold still one way or another. Now we're getting serious. Down there. I'm a little busy. Perhaps if you could stop the hail of rockets from slamming into the facility, I could stabilize the highly explosive reactor. Ish, always so touchy. No match for us. We've done it. You Pee Wee Scout sure had me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this. Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? You good? to worry everything is fine all part of the plan bruce what the hell is going on down there <laughs> something far worse than hell tin man ah! lilith like i said before the dark mother thanks you so much for the gamma accelerator couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. You played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you can steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. Disappointing. Tony, I... I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words? <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Let's be real. We all know what's going to happen with Banner and Lilith, and it rhymes with the word sulk. And when Banner gets sulky, whoever he hurts is going to be on Tony's hands. Well, that was crazy. I didn't have Avengers Tower goes boom on my end of the world bingo card. This is not a game, Deadpool. It was a major loss. So what, a guy's not allowed to deflect with humor? Lighten the mood a little? It's getting stuffy around here. 
A little joking would probably help. See? You get it. But no pranks. Not everyone will be in the mood for that. Don't let the mess fool you, Hunter. I know how to read a room. Morale has been... ...since the big guy joined Wanda in Brainwash Town. That is true. Everyone seems defeated. I feel for him, you know? You do? Uh, not having any control over your body. Been there, done that. Not a big fan. I'd rate it a big fat zero. I understand what you are saying. Didn't know you were part of the Body Snatchers Club. Yes. My caller helps me stay in the light. I'm joking around, because what happened to your pals gives me the heebie-jeebies. And I relate to them, okay? Do not worry, Deadpool. We will recover them. Then we can all trauma bond. It'll be totes fun. Well, time to go around the Abbey and deliver joy like Santa Claus. Please do not do that. <laughs> Boo. No fun. It doesn't really matter what Tony could have done. We must live with it. We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. Man, I never thought Dr. Banner's mind would get hacked. Poor guy. Poor Wanda. Don't worry. We'll get them back. Both of them. Yeah. We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best friends against us. I am sorry about Dr. Banner. It is always hard when our comrades fall. I appreciate that, Hunter. But you don't have to tell me about war. I fought my share of them. Then you know the risk. As did he. We're all willing to risk our lives, but this is different. What Lilith did to Banner was unthinkable. She changed him. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But? But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? What if she has already? If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. I was told you are a soldier. I was. A long time ago. Then you know war is always uncertain. Learn from this experience and ensure that it never happens again. Or give in to doubt and surrender now. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Not exactly my branch of the service, but I get the point. You know, I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. I'm Steve Rogers. What do you say we get to know each other? Are all modern soldiers as well-trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question? Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it, Dr. Erskine, was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. There is something about you that I cannot place. 
You seem different from your friends. Almost... <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. I get that a lot. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I've stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for... well... long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been... an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. He does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or Carol, or Bruce. Even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. He's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just larger than most. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. See you around, Hunter. I have an idea to get Lilith to release Banner. It's based on this ring. This country is lucky to have a soldier like you to defend it. I credit everything to the team around me. I trust Tony. Most of the time, he always has a plan, and when he doesn't, he always makes a plan. Sometimes. I've always heard don't make Banner mad, and I've seen him mad a few times, but this was way better. For Like those colors. Take a picture for Superlink. He follows it.
shit before. Now that banner has turned all of the sign. You wanted a word? Yes, about banner. What my mother has done to him is a tragedy. I wish that was all it was. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. Not for long. We will get him back. You know that's not possible. If he is as grave of a threat as you say, we have to try. No, Hunter, he is beyond saving. All we can do now is figure out a way to protect ourselves from him. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. Well, you know my thoughts on the matter. Yes, Sarah, but not everyone's like you. Some of us find it a little difficult to shoot at our friends. I don't know what Tony was expecting. Saving the world requires making it. Hunter, I see the battle at the Avengers Tower has left you relatively unscathed. Relatively, but Lilith has done far more damage than even we imagined. Yes, I've heard about what happened with Dr. Banner. Lilith is flexing her power in more ways than one. If we weren't the target of her ire, I might have said I was impressed by her growing resourcefulness. Be careful who hears you say that. What do I have to be afraid of at this point, hmm? Besides, there's no harm in having respect for your enemies, especially one who used to be your mother. I am not so sure. You can be sure that Lilith is only going to get more dangerous the longer this goes on. And while we may be forced to wait for her next move, you can still continue your work on the grounds. You think it will help? The more you come to understand about your mother, the better prepared you'll be when it comes time to face her again. And if you happen to gain a blessing or two from the old gods in the process, I'm sure it can't hurt. I will keep looking for more of Wanda's notes and other materials. Let me know if you need my help, dear. Okay, I'm gonna say it. I think he made the right call. I get where Tony's coming from. If a midnight sun turned vampire, well, let's just say I don't want to think about our friends being cursed of that life. 